do. Um, I uh, just need to grab my dogs real quick. Um, they didn't want to walk on the good side of the trail today, so they have to go on the leash while we walk through like most of the most of the walk today. Unfortunately, um, I can't risk somebody coming around that bend and them having a dog, and then my dog seeing them, and then they run over to say hi, and the people around here are a bunch of fucking idiots who uh, freak out and then they, they, they think that my dogs are trying to kill them even though my dogs aren't doing anything like like one guy oh okay so my I got you know I got one arm right so I'm sitting here trying to fucking my dogs just took a just took a dump right and I got three of them so I'm trying I got three dogs and I'm trying to do a stream and hold you know by holding this 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 phone at the same time so uh, they were all tangled up so I, I, I set the phone down I let them all go for a minute you know to get untangled and to clean up the poop and 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 some guy comes walking by he, he, he goes out of his way to walk over to me. Now, my dogs are just sitting here looking at the guy because they don't know what he wants. They figure maybe he's got a treat. They don't know. So they're just looking at him. And what does he do? The guy, the guy actually starts, like, uh, get, getting on my case about it. He says, well, uh, he's like, why aren't, uh, why aren't your dogs on a leash? And I said, well... Uh, I, I, I had to let him go for a minute, you know. I was letting, I was getting him untangled and cleaning up poop. You know, I was just letting him run around for a minute to get to have some fun, you know. And uh, I thought that would, you know, I thought that would end the uh, situation. Uh, well, guess what? No, it, it, he he has to just keep on. He starts upping it. He, his voice starts getting like more aggressive, louder. Like, well. They should be on a leash. And I was like, well, maybe you should mind your own fucking business. And I figured that would end it. No. The guy, now, now he's, now he's yelling. He, he's, he's like, well, they, they are supposed to be on a leash. And I was like, well, I was like, so, so then I, okay, let me think. Then I said, so I said, well, why don't you go home and, and call animal control on me? And he was like, well, I will. And I was like, you know what? I'm sure you will because you're a fucking dick. And then like, he like huffed and, you know, walked off uh, in a big old huff. And I never put my dogs back on the leash. And I just continued walking normally. And he was trying to like, you could tell, like, I, like all of a sudden he like started to realize like, maybe he had uh, uh, overstepped his bounds or said something to the wrong person or something. Now me, I'm a pacifist, okay? Most punks are pacifists, okay? We don't believe in violence. We're not violent people. We don't believe in violence. We're, we're, uh, most of us are like, like me, I'm vegan, you know, I'm a vegan pacifist. I, I buy a ton of meat for my dogs, but I, will, I, don't, I, just, I don't eat it, you know. Uh, but uh, this guy was scared now. He, he, he was walking fast and he kept looking back over his shoulder like, like I was going to come and like beat him up or something, you know. I'm thinking... What 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 is, what is this guy's deal? Not only does he go out of his way to start a start an altercation with me, you know, an argument, not an argument, but a, a um, I don't know, like I, th I guess he was trying to like teach me a lesson or something. And uh, not only did he go out of his way to do that, but on top of it all, now that he did it, and I didn't cow. You know, I didn't bow down to his fucking wishes. He's like getting on my goddamn case about it, you know? And now he's scared because 
now, now, now here's the thing. He started it. Now, I didn't do anything to, in, in any way to act threatening. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get into his face. I didn't come, I didn't even walk towards him. I, all I did was like stand with my dogs. You know, I, I, I did nothing. I let him walk away and just let him do his own thing. Like, you know, uh, he was the one you know, who started it and then he's scared. Why is he scared? Well, because he obviously realized that, you know, maybe, maybe he should have must minded his own business because my dogs weren't causing a problem. They weren't bothering anybody. I, I was cleaning up my dog's poop at the time. You know what I mean? Like, I was being a responsible pet owner, and I've been a responsible pet owner my whole life. I've been walking these trails for 10... I've, I've been bringing Lady down here for 13 years. You know, Lady's at home because she couldn't make it today because she, she's dying of cancer. But, um... Oh, I gotta clean up my dog's poop again. This little dog, he's eight, he's, he's eight, oh, he, he just did one of those little, like, he, he's an eight pound dog. He, so he does these little tiny, like, he does, he does huge poops too, though. But he does, he does these little tiny ones uh, sometimes too. That, you know, like, are just like, you know, basically, a, it looks like a pee came out. And so I just kind of kick it off to the side. It's a bunch of dirt around here. Nobody is going to notice that. I clean up the big stuff that's in the trail so that nobody steps in it because I, I don't like stepping in poop. Nobody likes stepping in poop, right? So I make sure to go out of my way to make sure that nobody else has to step in poop because it's gross, you know? <laughs> you know? Um, but, you know, here, I mean, here's the basically... When I was going to school for communications, you know, I, I, I even gave a speech on this about like, about situations like that. You know, basically, look, if if there's if there's not any problem happening, and you know, and and there's no uh, and there's no reason like okay like, let's say that guy had been somebody that I knew, and it would have been there would have been long term. Um, repercussions from us having a, you know an exchange of words you know maybe I would have tried to talk to him more about it and like explain the situation and try and come to an understanding and that kind of thing but basically you know if somebody gets in your face or whatever blow it off because unless unless it's gonna have a long-term effect on your life you know don't 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 bother with it don't you just let it go. Who cares? Some guy calls you an asshole. Who cares? Who cares? You know what I mean? Do you, is it? Do you, do you want to get in a fight? Do you want to go to jail? You know what I mean? Like, do you, do you is that what you want? Or you know, you want to go to the hospital? Is that what you want? I mean, you don't know what somebody's gonna do. Pull a gun or a knife or whatever. Just you know what I mean? It's like, stop, stop, stop with this fucking machismo bullshit. Grow up. Act like an adult. And, uh, you know, just fucking leave people, leave people be, you know, as long as somebody, as long as, like, if my dogs were running around attacking people, yeah, you know what, somebody should have said something to me. Oh, whoops, this is the treat guy. Uh, oh, hello, hey, these guys are happy to see you. I tried to catch up. Sorry, the, uh, yeah, the puppy didn't come today, and then, uh... The, um, the, uh, well, lady, she's, she was here yesterday, but she can't, she can only do it about once a week now. Yeah. Um, it takes a lot out of her to come down here. Yeah. She's, you walk a long way, right? She has really bad cancer now. Do I walk a long way? I just, I live down in Los Sardin at Los Sardinas, you know, the, the housing complex thing with the wall around it down there, right across from, uh, um, uh, Alsup's. I, I own my house, I, I own a house in there. Okay, cool. So, it's not too, I don't walk too far or anything. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, you're still eating, okay. Blue's still doing his eating thing, so hold on, I need to flip this back around. 
Uh, come on, flip back around. It goes upside down for me um, sometimes. It uh, depends on how much it gets shaken. Um, but uh, yeah, so, but I mean, to back to my point is basically, you know, a unless it's gonna, unless something is gonna have some sort of a long term effect on your life, um, it's best just to drop it, just to let it go. You know, you don't, you don't have to prove anything to anyone, okay? Especially not some random guy on the street or whatever, you know. And, you know, if if somebody isn't causing a problem, just because you don't like what they're doing, if they're not hurting anybody, leave them alone. What 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 is the what is the benefit of you going over? and causing a problem for somebody who is just minding their own business, having fun, and not bothering anyone else. You know what I mean? You just, you, you, I, I'm sorry if you don't like somebody's activities, but it's called America, where as long as you aren't bothering, you know, as long as you, what your activity is doing, isn't hurting anyone else, you're free to do it. That's the way. It's, that's the way it works. Okay, you know, uh, it's these people. It's you get these people who fucking want to stick their nose into everybody else's business and tell them what to do. Who are the ones who cause the problems? It's not the people like. It's you know. Okay, so maybe some uh, some guy is uh, you know drinking a beer in the park, right? And that's illegal. But is he bothering anybody? Is he hurting anybody? You know, is he just some guy sitting at a picnic bench drinking a beer. He drinks his beer and he walks, you know, and he moves along. Is that, is that, did he, did he hurt anybody? Did he bother anybody? Did his action cause any, any harm to anyone else? No, no, it didn't. So you know what? Leave him alone. Don't bother him. Just leave him alone. Simple as that. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's, that's today's lesson. Leave people alone. Unless they're actually, like, out causing some sort of a problem for other people, leave them alone. It's not worth it. It's just, it's just all you're doing is, is causing uh, other people problems and causing other people, you know, uh, you know, possible, uh, you know, it's like maybe that guy is, uh, you know, having a bad day. And so he, he, he bought a beer and he wanted to stop in the park because it's nice out there. He didn't want to go home because he's, he's having some problems at home. He wanted to, got a, he, he, he wanted to get out of the house to drink a beer and, and chill out for a minute, right? Before he went back home uh, so that you know, like, let things cool down. And then when he gets back home, you know, because he's got a job, he's got a wife, he's got kids. Well, you know what? You call the cops on him, and you get him thrown in jail, and what do you think happens now? Now that guy, he's going to lose his job. Now what are his kids going to do, you know? How are they going to eat? You know, what, what are they going to think? What happened to daddy, you know? Like, and, and, and you know... What's his wife gonna do when she can't put food on the table, you know? Because they're not they're not in the system. They're not you know, they're not They don't there's no treat blue. There's no treat Come on, man Can you stop acting like everybody has a treat for you? Come on. Come on No, there's no treats. I Have treats. I have treats me. I'm the one with the treats. No, come on, like, look, dude, she doesn't have a treat. Morning. Sorry, my dog thinks she has a treat. He thinks you have a treat, so he's waiting. He's waiting for you to give him a treat. Sorry. That's a, <laughs> he thinks everybody has a treat for him. Blue, you're a knucklehead. You drive me crazy, but I love you. I love you, buddy. I love you. You're my baby blue. All right, we'll stop up here at the pile of mud and we'll do it. We'll have a treat time, okay? Because you've been a real good boy.
Yes, you have. Yes. Yes, you have. Yeah. Well, you know where the treat time is. Yeah, you know where treat time is. It's straight up here. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I tried to give you guys treats, but you won't give them, you won't take them from me yet. I, I need to, I, you know, when, when next time I, next time I'm down here with Jim, I'll, I'll, I'll go up and, and with Jim and give you a, and give you a treat. I'm sorry. I know you're deaf and you can't hear me. Poor doggy. Poor deaf doggy. Okay, Blue, let's stop right here and have treat time. Here we go. Here we go. There are no hot air balloons. There are no, hey, there's no, there, there's nothing in right now. It's like, there's nothing around. It's bizarre. Like I, I got, I came out early expecting that I would be able to catch hot air balloons, you know, for once. And uh, no hot air balloons, no, uh, there, there's no animals. I mean, I'm not seeing any, uh, any um, uh, peacocks? Uh, I haven't seen any uh, geese yet. I'm gonna go check the park later for geese. Um, uh, geese. Uh, there, the, there's also the herons that, that take over that take over the parks too. So I'm gonna start checking the parks for geese and her and herons and um, and loons and stuff like that because this is the time of year where they start they start coming south. And this is one of the places where, oh, please, they, I'll give it to you, don't worry. There you go, Bowie. All right, Blue, you want this one? Want that one? There you go, man. There you go. Here, here, there you go. And no, would you stop jumping up? You're really getting on my nerves with that. Blue, you're a good boy. You don't jump up. You can have one without jumping up. There you go. There you go. All right. We had a treat time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. There we go. All right, now that I got rid of everybody who's around me, I can uh, let you guys run around for a while off the leash again. Don't have to worry anymore. All right, let's flip it around and let's get going. Come on, let's go down here. Let's go see the dogs down here. We'll give these guys some treats. There's about, there's like five dogs down here. And uh, I like to stop and give them treats when I can. Um, it depends on whether there's people around or not. Um, like if there was somebody coming this way, uh, I wouldn't be able to do it because uh, I, Blue and uh, Blue and Bowie are off leash, and I don't need them running up to somebody and uh, them getting the wrong idea that that my dogs are trying to attack them when they. My dogs would never try and attack anybody. That's just not the way they are. They're not like that. I, <laughs> they don't. They don't attack people. They don't attack. They don't. Even, they don't attack other dogs. Like they, they, they're, they're, they're actually better off the leash than on the leash. On the leash, they, um, they uh, have this thing is called. Uh, uh, it's called. Uh, barrier aggression and all dogs get it it's when uh, it's when you um, keep a dog you know like behind a fence how dogs will bark at each other it's because they can't get to each other and the dog inside the fence see it thinks it's it thinks it's defending its property and the dog so the dog outside the fence well, what it's doing is it's mimicking the behavior of the dog inside the fence because it thinks that, like, my, like, so my dog, if it came up to a dog behind a fence that was barking at it, Blue, right here, treats, right here, down here, right here, treats. So if these dogs were barking uh, through the fence at my dogs, well, they would bark back because they would they would assume that that's what you're supposed to do, that that's how you interact, because dogs teach each other. See, we teach each we teach each other how to treat you know. We, you teach people how to treat you, and it goes for dogs too. They teach each other how to treat each other, and uh, they do it you know through uh, all these different like signals and things. It's almost all nonverbal uh, communication, almost all body language stuff. 
I went. It's, I, I studied this stuff in school. It's only. It's, I, I, you know, the Dog Whisperer. I used to watch a lot of that. I've read these books, uh, uh, but uh, I, I know a lot about like nonverbal communication and how it works and how it works the same with people as it does with dogs, basically. There you go, buddy. That's for you. I'll just let you have it. There you go. Yeah, I'll let you have it without you biting me, okay? You don't have to bite me. You, know, you can just have the treat. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me give you guys some new ones. Yeah, I'll give you... Okay, it's your turn, too. Yeah, it's your turn now. Yes, it's your turn. I forgot about my favorite dogs. Yeah, it's your turn, okay? There you go, Blue. All right. Dude. There you go, man. Okay, here. This one's for you. No, wait, you get a good one this time. That one's for you, okay? And then this one is for you. And this is it. This is the last one, okay? I'll give you one more. I can't. I don't want to give you guys too many treats because I know other people give you treats too. But I try and give you guys small treats. Come here. This one's for you. There you go. That's your little one, okay? There we go. All right, that's it for today, okay? Yeah, that's it for today. Tomorrow, if there's nobody around, I'll come back. Yesterday, when I was here and did this, I left my phone. <laughs> I had to come all the way back. Hold on, I gotta blow my nose. Just give me one minute to blow my nose, and then, uh, and then, um, I'll, uh, I'll get moving again. It's just, it, it's a little chilly this morning. It's like 40, it's like 44, 45 right now, something like that, you know? It's, uh, it's not bad. I'm just wearing, all I'm wearing is a t-shirt and a sweatshirt because you gotta remember in the desert, like, it's not the same as it is other places. Like, I, yesterday, uh, when I saw the temperature was 52, I put on a sweatshirt, right? And I wasn't thinking. I was thinking, I was still thinking like 52. See, I'm from Wisconsin, and in Wisconsin, 52 is sweatshirt weather. Whereas in the desert, 52 is, uh, it's, um, it's t-shirt and shorts weather. I mean, I was literally dripping sweat by the time I got home. I had to stop halfway. Uh, my friend Jim held my dogs for me for a minute while I took my sweatshirt off, and I was still dying. Oh, man, I was so hot. That was terrible. Terrible. All right, let me zip back up, and we'll get going here. I can't believe I didn't see any peacocks, nothing, man, no raccoons, no ducks, no raccoons, no coyotes, nothing, man, nothing. There's nothing out today. <laughs> There's not even any, are there any chickens there? There might be some chickens over here, but I doubt it. It's still early for the chickens even. See, this is a, the, the, they sell, they actually sell chicken eggs right here. Um, a lot of times you can see they, they put the eggs up on top. Yeah, there's no there's no chickens out yet. There, I, I think I see one like back there in the pen still, but yeah, there's no chickens today. So, no, I'm sorry, no wildlife today to show anybody and no hot air balloons, amazingly enough. I mean, this is, uh, right now, this is hot air balloon weather. Um, the, the, the cold air, um, really really helps give lift um, if you if you, if you know about if, if anybody of you out knows about aerodynamics um, and uh, not aerodynamics um about uh, oh, uh, thermal dynamics um, you'll understand why the cooler weather actually helps the balloons go up in the air um, it's the difference in pressure the uh, with the cold air and the hot air, the 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 the, the um the heat inside is uh, the pressure is higher when it's colder outside. You get higher pressure 
to give better lift. Um, so usually this time of year, this is this is usually the balloon fiesta that goes on right now. But this year they don't have it. Unfortunately, I was gonna go. Um, I looked it up. It's $125 to go up in a hot air balloon, and I was gonna live stream it. Um, but it's not gonna happen this year. But next year, hey, stay on this side, over here. Come on, thank you. So next year, when when when, when balloon fiesta happens, I am uh, I'm going to. Uh, Whoa, hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Wow, that, 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 I, that's amazing. I don't usually, like, not only do I not usually get very many viewers on my dog walks, I rarely gain followers. Uh, that's, oh, so if you haven't seen before, this is Blue and this is Bowie. I don't know if you're watching or not. I've, I've, had, one, I've had one viewer the whole time and, uh, I have no idea who it is. It's probably my neighbor. Um, she, uh, or it could be, it, it could be one of my, uh, either one of, uh, I, I have two neighbors who, uh, I walk, the, the, my, my neighbor that I walk her dog, she, uh, she watches a lot when, um, I, when I'm walking her dog, of course, because she likes to watch her dog, uh, you know, run and play. Cause uh, you know when I, when when Blue and her dog, her dog's a nine-month-old uh, puppy. Um, uh, it's a it's it's like a lab puppy, so it's a big puppy. Um, they like to run and, and chase each other around, and they run fast. Like it's crazy. They they're it's crazy. And then there's uh. Do I want to donate? Do what? Do you, donate to what? I mean, do you, are you saying do you, do you, are you saying you want to donate to me? Because uh, I mean, if you would like to donate to me, um, you you can do it in. Uh, there's a few different ways. Uh, I all the money goes first of all. Um, my 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 dog that's dying of cancer. Um, it, it's expensive, um, you know, for her medication, uh, it's just, uh, I, I, I mean, any, any money I get now is going basically for that, so, um, dude, no way, you just made my fucking day, you don't understand how much that means. Like, that, that, like, that'll pay for my dog's medication next, like, next month. Because it's, it's $69 for my dog's medication. And, um, I, I, I actually went, I actually, um, my, my bank account went negative, uh, this month, um, trying to pay for it. And so, like, I... I, um, I really appreciate this, man. Seriously. It, it does, it means a lot. Thank you. Oh, I gotta switch it back around. I think my dog just pooped and I gotta pick it up, of course. Look, I, I, I mean, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, like... Like, I'm not going to lie and say, like, I couldn't use the money right now, okay? I'm not going to say, like, because I really could, like, uh, but I, I don't want to, like, I, I don't want to, like, keep asking you for money. I mean, I, I, I feel bad, like, like, <laughs> sorry, it's just... I'm going through a lot of hard times right now because, you know, my dog is 13. I've had her since she was a puppy, and now she's dying of cancer, and, uh, you know, it's hard. And then on top of it, like I said, it made my bank account go negative, so I don't have any money. And then uh, I built a computer, and... Uh, 
it didn't work. It doesn't work because I think the motherboard is broken. Um, so I have to replace the motherboard on it. And I, I don't know. It's just been a, it's been it's been a really bad month. Okay, like, shut up, dude. No way, man. You didn't really. You didn't. It, like you don't understand. Like I, I can't. I can't when I'm on my when I'm when I'm streaming on my phone. I can't do shout outs. Um, but I'll do a shout out for you on on uh, on on Twitter. Um, if you want, uh, big I'll do a big old thank you on Twitter for 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 this. I I mean, I I I, I can't I can't even believe that 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 happened I don't even know what to say about it like nothing like this has ever happened to me before like like I mean I get I get bits and subscriptions but no but nothing like this I mean I mean uh, it helps a lot because I'm on a fixed income you know uh, cause, uh, I don't know if you read my, like, little bio thing, but, uh, I, um, I lost my arm when I was 17, so I, uh, I had to teach myself how to play video games with one hand, uh, and then, so I could, uh, keep, so I could, um, and then I, I, I started, so I could stream, you know, uh, I wanted to be able to do game streams and stuff, and, then, like, so, yeah, I love gaming. I just love gaming, so I just, uh, I taught myself. Hey, good morning. Um, yeah, to, I, so I taught myself to play video games with one hand. Um, so I, I appreciate this help. It helps a lot because I don't, like, I, I, I'm, on, I'm on a fixed income, and so I, I can't, I, I can't, do you understand? I can't believe this. Like, this is what, it's like... I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't have at, good morning, I couldn't have at, blue, what the hell, man, what is wrong with you, why did you do that, oh my gosh, my dog, he's gonna kill me, no, don't do that, no, please, don't, like, honestly, don't, 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 don't do, don't do that, that's too much, that's too much. You've already done too much. Like, you've already done a lot. Like, you don't understand how much you, you've already done a lot, okay? Because euros to dollars is, is, is different. Like, you, you did a, you, you don't understand how, that's, that's a, that's too much. That's too much. I, I can't ask for that. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't, I don't want that. I don't, I don't want you to do that for me. If you, oh, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like, I feel like you're just like, I, I feel like this is like gonna end up being like. A, a a joke or something like I, <laughs> like I like this is some kind of a bad joke that somebody's playing on me. Uh, I, I because nobody does stuff like this. Nobody no nobody does stuff like this. This doesn't happen. Like I I don't I I don't even under. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't, I am, I'm speechless. I, I, I can't, I can't thank you enough. Dude, seriously, thank you. Thank you, you have no idea. Thank you. Um, um, I'll, um, uh, oh God, I'm gonna give you a, the biggest thank you in the world on Twitter. I really, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, all right, all right. Hey, anytime, anytime, man. You're always welcome. 
you're a VIP in my in my stream from now on. Uh, you're, you're you're always welcome. Uh, anytime. <laughs> oh man. Well, this is just me walking down the street back to my house. So this is uh, this is where I usually end the stream. Nice old big old nice big shot of the mountains right there. Yeah, uh, this is just a nice, nice, nice shot, nice view right here. So, um, dude, uh, zigzag two, two, two. Oh my gosh, you, uh, I, I don't know, you're amazing. Thank you.